She's taking way too long to film her intro, so I'm just gonna do it for her. Hi, my name is Alyssa Lauren, and you're watching. And I'm Trey. And this is my everyday makeup, makeup routine. Makeup routine team. <laughs> let's go, let's dive right into it. So this is a video that I have been putting off for a really long time. I've never done a get ready with me before. I think I've just done like Instagram lives and that's it. But I am finally doing it and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so before we jump right into my get ready with me, I just really quickly wanted to answer a question that I know a lot of you new subscribers have been wondering about. So if you've been subscribed to us for a while now, then you've already heard me talk about my locket necklace. And it is basically just this heart shaped locket necklace. And when you open it, up it just has a picture of Trey and I it is from this company called Honey Lock Co and they make a bunch of cute jewelry including these awesome little keychains which is also a locket when you open it up it has a picture as well they are super super cute and they are a perfect gift for your boyfriend your girlfriend your mom your dad I know some people I follow actually get it for their best friends as well so I just wanted to let you guys know about them because it does make for an awesome gift what are you doing <laughs> playing with mine. <laughs> I've mentioned it in a few previous videos before, but my code is Alyssa Lauren, just to remind you guys. And yeah, I personally love them so much. And I think it's awesome that you guys send me pictures of your lockets as well. So please continue doing that if you get one. What do you do? This is real cool. Look at this. Close. Ah, oh, just a heart. Open. Bam! Oh, that's us. <laughs> All right, so that's enough talking. If you want to see how I do my everyday makeup, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, ready? Say it with me. What? Let's jump right into it. Okay. One, two, three. Jump. <laughs> okay, so he's taking too long, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the video. Yes, hello, hi, welcome. This is Alyssa with no makeup on. The first thing that I normally start with is my eyebrows. Come on, I'm filming. Hurry. He's changing right now in the background. Are you ready? What are we doing? My makeup. I'm gonna do it? No, I'm gonna do it. And oh. You're just gonna... I don't know. Join me. <laughs> oh wait, I have questions. It's like a mukbang and a Q and A and a makeup routine thing all in one oh, video. Ew. Wow, we love being amazing multitaskers. So I went on my Instagram and I told you guys to ask me some questions while I do my makeup, so you can just pick some out. All right, guys. So I always start with my eyebrows because I basically, as you can see, have no eyebrows. There's a whole story as to why I don't have eyebrows. I'm not gonna talk about it in this video, but yeah, I don't have eyebrows. But they kind of remind me of the Hollister birds. You know how the Hollister birds are like this? Because you're fly. Except if the Hollister birds' wings got cut off for some reason. I just use a regular e.l.f. eyebrow brush. I think this is actually for eyeliner. I'm not sure, but it's a, just a regular angled brush and it works really good. It was only like $2 at Target because I think it was on sale. And then I used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown or Chocolate. Um, earlier this year, I would normally use the Dark Brown one. The shades do look pretty similar, honestly. I feel like nobody can really tell. I don't know, just depending on my mood, I use the Dark Brown or Chocolate one. Look at how bad this is. Why isn't it focusing? Yeah, you guys see that? That's so bad. It's all dried up, but life hack, by the way. Did you know that you can put coconut oil in here and it makes it softer? Really? Mm -hmm. uh, have you eaten coconut oil before? Because you could put it in food. I am going to attempt to do this in a way that everybody can understand. So, But this is my first get ready with me, like I said, so bear with me. I'm sorry if you guys... Uh, whatever. Should I just zoom in? Uh, how do I do this? I'll just zoom into it. Oh, no. I'm going to take my brush and you guys kind of see how it was attempting to form a shape and then it kind of gave up over here on this end that's where I'm going to start first so I'm going to start on the ends I know some people start in the beginning but I personally prefer to start here someone asked future pets oh future pets we want to have pets he wants to have a I want a dog I want a cat I want a snake I want a lot of things what kind of pet you want babe well I kind of want a pig oh yeah a pig but Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson got a pig and they're split up now so people are saying like getting a pig is bad luck I'm still get one. I have enough bad luck in my life as it is. That's like, not that doesn't true. scare me. Okay, you guys kind of see what I'm doing here? How I'm just extending it out. Someone asked. Oh, and her name's Alyssa too. Oh, hi. Hi, same. name twin. Yes. How your skin so clear? <laughs> that's how they say. I like how, how that's your, the question, and you guys can see all so of this. Clear. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't know. It's not clear. I do break out. A lot of people, for some reason, think that my skin is super clear and super healthy. It's not. That's going rare. On. That's I think that's because you're starting your um periods. You rarely break out like on like more than most people at least. Yes. She'll be in the shower. She has these gloves that are like super like rough and they're for like scrubbing <laughs> and exfoliating. She'll ask me to get her something. I to her in the shower and you just see her like going like <laughs> with the exfoliating gloves. And she comes out with like a smile and her face is all red. <laughs> You're not even supposed to use those for your face, I think, because I think it's too rough. Whenever you're not feeling yourself some days, 
you tell me that your brows like don't look good or whatever but you always do a really good brow you think so oh, you guys can't even see me all right so as you guys can see i have kind of added the shape already i just need to continue doing the rest of the brow and i just use light strokes i just very lightly apply the eyeshadow oops i mean it's not eyeshadow what is this <laughs> What is this called? The dip brow. I remember you let me try to do your eyebrows once and that, that was hard. It was hard to angle it and stuff. Well, uh, maybe that's because it was just your first time. Who knows, what if you're like the best beauty makeup artist in the world, babe? And you don't Probably. know, you're being negative, you're bringing yourself down. That's true. Thanks for the affirmations, babe. You really make me feel like I'm out here doing stuff. You are. Someone asked a makeup question. Oh, what is it? Do you get any side effects using certain makeup? Side effects? So, like, I you do. Break out or anything like that? Yeah, I honestly can't remember the brands that they were, and I can't really remember what products they were. But I know it happens a lot with moisturizers. There's this really good moisturizer that I started using recently, and it's called the Glam Glow one. Like, I got it at Sephora in a little sample package for my birthday. I really like it, but I, for some reason, I can't find it. So right now, I'm just using the Clean and Clear one. Now, I'm just going to clean it up a bit. And I pretty much use the same type of eyebrow brush. And I use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade 26. When did you start getting into makeup? Or so like around what age did you really start wearing makeup thinking you was popping and stuff? <laughs> Honestly, how old are you in seventh grade? 12. That's when I started using mascaras and stuff. Every now and then I would try to use eyeliner and stuff, but it wasn't an everyday thing. It was just kind of when I felt like it. For the most part, I wasn't really wearing makeup to school or anything like that. Maybe just mascara. But I think the age that I started wearing like foundation, powder and all that, Fun stuff I think would be when I was 15 maybe when I was younger my sisters would always want to like curl or do stuff to my eyelashes because they were so long oh my gosh yeah show them let's do a comparison between ours look let's close our eyes you smell nice <laughs> stop trying to sniff me I'm trying to do my makeup tutorial I'm trying to challenge this new career path you're, you're of mine inner, you're inner moi. M -U -A. Yeah, more. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just applying the concealer to clean it up. I like to put it a little bit lower first, just so I don't mess up. Think Super asks, most valuable memory you've made this year? Honestly, you guys are gonna think I'm lying or whatever. But I think that the most valuable memory I've made this year is just starting YouTube. And I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel and whatnot and... It's so crazy because... When we were both around the same age, I want to say because I was like in middle school when I would like always watch YouTube videos and Me always too. like film myself and like and I'd be doing like these little dumb skits with like my cousin or my friends and I would always just film them and stuff and post them on YouTube somewhere so I don't know where they are but Same, I have old videos on YouTube too But we were doing the same thing, it was just different type of like videos I guess but around the same age and we like it was always like something we wanted to do Okay so now I'm just taking a random NYX brush Ow, you guys saw that? I just poked my eye. Hey, be careful over there. And I'm just going to clean up the concealer. I filmed this makeup video once already and I really didn't like it, so I'm filming it again. And in the first video, my eyebrows came out way better than this. Like right now, they look janky. But you know what? That's just life. This should be like a yearbook quote. Okay, I feel like this question is perfect for you. This person asked, boneless wings or traditional? Oh, okay. This is... <laughs> You're like asking the perfect person. I used to eat hot wings literally every, every week. Day. Sometimes every day. It's so bad. Back then, I would tell you traditional wings all the way. Boneless wings are just chicken nuggets. <laughs> if you're <laughs> eating, are good. if you're just eating boneless wings, you might as well not even eat wings. Just go to McDonald's and get some chicken nuggets. But now I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I got lazy or something. I feel like I'm both. I think it just depends. Like I have phases. Sometimes I want to go and get boneless wings, sometimes I want to get traditional wings. You know what's so funny? What? About you, how you eat, because she can't eat, she doesn't eat like a normal person. Not as in like she <laughs> eats like with a mouth beard, but she has to do little things to food. <laughs> yeah. So when we go to like, let's say we go to McDonald's, we'll get like a 20 piece chicken nugget, she'll be like, okay, can I get a side of buffalo sauce and ranch? And then she'll take the buffalo sauce and pour it like all over her nuggets and shake the box. So it's like boneless wings. So it's wings. like boneless wings. And, like, she has to pour lemon on everything. Yeah, so when we get food, I don't just, I'm like, it's not like, okay, here's the food, let's eat. Like, I have to do stuff to it. I have to, like, customize it myself. With me, <laughs> Pimp my food. Pimp my food. <laughs> Alright, so I just finished this eyebrow, and I'm gonna finish the other one off camera, because it takes forever. Alright, guys, so this is how my eyebrows look like when I am done with them. Um, I'm gonna be honest, they look really 
janky right now. At least you know it's a realistic tutorial because some days they look good, some days don't, they don't. I don't get it when you say they look janky. They just, I don't know. Do you guys know and I don't know. Has there a certain way that they like their makeup? Some days you hit it, some days you don't. Alright, so I forgot to film this part earlier, but I sprayed my face with the Mario Bides. Is that how you say it? I don't know. But I sprayed my face with that rose water. And right now I'm just going to use my clean and clear dual action moisturizer. Again, I like to use the glam glow sample that I got, but I can't find it. I literally don't know where it is. So I'm just going with this one. This one is the one that I used to use a lot just because it's really affordable and I mean it does the job it doesn't make me break out I know a lot of people have mixed reviews about it and then after I'm going to prime my face with the benefit professional primer which I honestly think deserves all the hype uh, my friend Jerry recommended it to me this person asked what's your favorite brand of makeup oh I don't know I mean I don't think I have an all-time favorite because I didn't see what you were doing and then I look at you and there are a bunch of dots in your face this is how I apply it I just go like this recently I've been loving color pop i've been loving affordable makeup brands <laughs> um i used to use the la girl foundation and concealer and those were really good i think morphe is really good i like their brushes i got you morphe brushes for your uh, birthday like yeah, a year ago thank you where is bainbridge island my name is washington washington i get the randomest calls you guys i also get these really weird text messages on my phone and they're really sus i don't know if this is a thing that's normal. Oh, how you get text messages from the police? I low-key think that my girlfriend's a cop, like an undercover cop. Cause she'd be getting random text messages from the local police department, like saying, oh, this person's over here. I report to this, 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 and that. So I'm like, I'm dating a cop. Or maybe the person who used to have my phone number was a cop. The city that we live in, I get all of the police updates. It'll be like homicide on this street. And I'm like, oh, I know where that is. I know where that is, I'm right there. So I just finished priming my face and I'm going to apply the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. And I have been obsessed with this. It's really, really good. I had trouble picking out the right shade for me. I mixed the medium 100 and the medium 110. Can I do one? Sure, you can do this side. Doesn't matter where. Can I draw? One thing that I don't like about this foundation, I don't know if it's because it's a matte foundation. This is honestly my first time using a matte foundation. Um, all of my other ones, they were like illuminating ones. Foundation dries really fast, so you kind of have to hurry. Sometimes I use a beauty blender, or sometimes I just use this brush. Honestly, 95% of the time I use this brush. I used to be against using brushes on my face just because I would always see the, the little strokes, little brush what is it called? The the bristle strokes? And I would always see it on my face. I didn't know to clean them, you could shampoo them. Well, I don't know if you can, but I do that. <laughs> I'm using the ColourPop F15 brush, and it's honestly pretty good. I Someone asked your period. Like, how I act when I'm on my period? I don't know. Um, How do I act? It, it all depends, honestly. You're not like the typical, stereotypical, like, period girl. <laughs> what do you mean? As in, like, like, you can get moody and stuff, but it's not like the dramatic crying in bed with a tub of ice cream type of moody. <laughs> like in the movies? Like, all I really gotta do is get you food and then you're just quiet for the rest of the day. I mean, sometimes I do get sad or irritated easily, but I mean, I feel like that's everyone, you know? Someone asked, what do you order when you go to Boiling Crab? Oh, okay, I like this question. Okay, so uh, I'm act like the server because we don't even look at the menu. I know, we, we just know. sit. So I'm act like the server. Okay. And then you're, you're us. Hi, what can I get for you today? Hi, you're cute. <laughs> just kidding. Sorry. Okay, go. Hi, what can I get you for today? Can I get a pound of shrimp in the whole shebang medium? Okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna keep saying it. I'm trying to make it realistic because they're normally like, mm, okay, whole shebang mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and can I get a pound of snow crab the whole shebang mild? So smile. And can I get a side of white rice and a side of Cajun fries mild? Okay, so I got a, a pound of shrimp, hush bang, medium. It's funny because they started noticing how often we come in. But, yeah. So it's kind of, it's looking embarrassing. Hey, it's not my shade, okay? Don't, don't. You look good. No, you've been bugging out about your face this whole time. I think you look nice. Thank you. I think you look very nice. She always, every time she gets ready, like the most picky about like her face and her makeup, and it takes her forever just for her to be <laughs> disappointed or whatever. But she literally, she looks fine every single time. She's just very, very picky in her head. And it actually took her a lot to do this video, so I'm very, very proud of you. Thank you. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, now I'm going to apply the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, which is the same concealer that I used to clean up my eyebrows, except this time I'm using a different shade. So this one is in light 16, which honestly, it's way too light for my skin. So as you guys can see, 
that's really really light and i'm all about you know brightening up your under eyes and stuff but i just personally think that this concealer is way too bright for my skin but what i do is i just apply around that much and then i just use a beauty blender to kind of blend it like this okay so i kind of blend it out like this and then I take the same brush that I used for my foundation and I kind of go over it because I don't know I, I kind of just use like the leftover foundation that's kind of still on the brush and just you're recycling yeah I'm recycling <laughs> you're saving the planet and I don't know if you guys can tell on camera but it's kind of making it a bit darker so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye this person says random idea but when you decided to cut your hair oh um okay so I used to have super super long hair growing up i think it was just me being really tired of having that long hair because it would be a lot to manage at times and it was really dead so i don't know out of nowhere i was just like i'm gonna cut my hair and then i cut it once and then i wanted to cut it shorter and then i just did it and yeah i mean there are some days where i'm like i want to grow it back but then once now that it's getting a little bit longer again i'm kind of like no, I'm gonna cut it again. After applying my concealer, I then bake my face with the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder in the shade Banana. What is that? Well, doing? it's setting powder. So basically, you see like my eye creases right there? Mm -hmm. I like to put it there so it doesn't crease. I know some people, they crease up near their nose and stuff, but for me, it's right underneath my eyes and it's super That's weird. That's because you smile a lot. So I just apply it like this with the beauty blender. Is setting powder the same as like setting spray? Mm, well, I mean, they both set your makeup. If you were to like go to the gym right now, and you use setting powder, your makeup won't come off. Is that what it's for? Well, I don't really sweat that much. Well, you don't sweat. You don't sweat that much either. I don't sweat that much, but I still sweat. Okay, so while I let this bake, I then like to apply my bronzer. And the bronzer that I use is the Too Faced bronzer. I'm not really sure what shade this is in because the back packaging was kind of coming off because I've had this for a while. But I just apply it to my cheekbones like this. I don't know where Trey went. Maybe he got tired of this makeup video. Did you get tired of the video? No. I like watching you do your makeup. I've watched you do your makeup like a whole bunch of times. At some point, I just stare at you. Because you're very like animated when you do your makeup. What do you mean? You're like, you'll do this. So you'll like be doing stuff and you go. Or you'll get frustrated and then you'll go like this. I make like a head counter of like how many times you either roll your eyes or go ugh. I don't even notice that I do it though. Maybe I'm just naturally like frustrated why, with myself. Uh, the reason why people make that face when they're doing their makeup. So it can like just like... You can see your cheekbones better when you do that. See? Like you can see your cheekbones. Did anybody teach you how to do makeup or you just figure it out on your own? Uh, well I mean I watch YouTube videos and stuff. What age you start doing it again? Like 15, right? Yeah. Or for, is that late for people? I mean everybody's different. I don't think there's really like a right age. I mean unless you're like 3 or something. Next I'm just going to apply my mascara. I've only been using this for 2 days and I mean it's okay. But I do prefer the mascara that I was using before. I honestly don't know where I put it. But I got it from my BoxyCharm. Those makeup subscriptions are like really good investments. You think so? Yeah cause like makeup can be pretty, uh, pretty pricey. Pretty expensive, yeah. Can I do one eye? Go, go ahead, it's no, okay. No, I'm scared. No, no you, can wanna... do it, you can do it, you can do it. Poke you can do eye. it, you can do it, it's okay. What if I poke your eye sick. and then you won't be able to see me again? You're using like super light strokes. I'm scared. After I apply my mascara, I then put on my lashes sometimes. Some days I kind of just leave the mascara on and then I'm done. But depending on my mood, I do put on eyelashes. And the eyelashes that I've been loving lately are the Kiss Lashes and the Salon Perfect Lashes. I do cut the lashes a little bit because I feel like they're way too long for my eyes. And the glue that I used to apply this is the Duo Lash Glue. And I do use the one that has this little wand on it so it's a lot less messy. You know what question you get like a lot? What? Is where you got your tea necklace from. Uh, I actually got her necklace from a, one of those jewelry kiosks at the mall. But apparently, like, someone said you get it off of Amazon. Yeah, I saw someone comment that I guess they found it off Amazon. I, I think if you just search it up, you can probably find it. I don't know. That would have saved me time. I wish I would have knew. <laughs> I've seen you put them on without tweezers. Does it make it, like, easier with tweezers? I mean, I can do it without tweezers, but I mean. What if they hit you in the eye? Oh, that's happened to me so many times before. Really? Tweezers, yeah. Why do you seem so frustrated? I don't know. I tried to film this video once and then I hated the clip so I wanted to film it again. I don't know. I think just doing my makeup on camera kind of is kind of scary. What's crazy about those falsies? Especially when we first started dating, you would leave them everywhere. Whenever we'd come back from somewhere and you were just done with the day, you would take them off and then you'd stick them on like my car or something. If you ever got lost, I would just look for a trail. <laughs> look for a falsies. trail of lashes. Yeah, I just look for a trail of lashes and it'd lead me to you. <laughs> and then when you get to me, what am I doing? You're putting on more lashes. <laughs>
You used to, when we lived separately, she would leave them like everywhere in my room. And so when she wasn't there, I could, there was like enough lashes to build a new Alyssa. So it was like she never left. I used to use really, really dramatic lashes. I mean, I feel like maybe to some people, these are still dramatic, but compared to the ones I used to use before, they're a lot. Like, they're a lot more lightweight. Once I'm done with my lashes, I just take this brush and I wipe off all of the baking powder that I put on earlier. You got food? You haven't eaten. I got you food. Mmm. <laughs> this makes the makeup process a lot better. More food. Step number 15. Eat food. Feed the MUA <laughs> as she does her MU. I like your abbreviations. Uh, I'm okay choking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm CPR certified. I think it's expired now though. So, you have a choke in front of me. What if you're the reason I'm choking? You look very nice. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's okay. You look nice. I promise. Very pretty. Very much. So right now, I'm going to apply my lip liner and I'm using the NYX suede. Is that how you say it? Yeah. So right now, I'm just going to apply my lip liner and I'm using the NYX. <laughs> Stop. It's funny. No, she does this all the time. If she can't read something, she'll ask me, knowing damn well I can't read either. <laughs> so you got two people who don't know how to read going, yeah, I think that's right. That's yeah. <laughs> that's why we got Q dumb joke mixed up. They pronounce uh, Louis Vitton. Yeah, Louis Vitton. <laughs> Is it Gouche? Gouche? Is it Gucky? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to apply my <laughs> Nick suede matte lip liner pencil in the shade London. London is my go-to shade. Look, we're both moths. Look at me. Our McFlurry. Oh, me too. That sounds good. Where is <gasps> you know what I want? Salted caramel. I forgot what it's called. The salted caramel ice cream with extra sea salt. I don't know makeup brands, but I grew up with girls. Like I have two older sisters and I was raised by my mom. I've seen my mom do her makeup, but she's like an older woman. So they kind of do their makeup differently than like nowadays. My mom like goes like like red lipstick to work and stuff like that. But you never wear li red lipstick. You're not a red lipsticky person. Yeah, I'm more of a nude. Or dark. Lipstick. She has naturally dark lips and they're kind of cool. Oh yeah, I remember in one picture, some people were like, oh, what lipstick are you using? But it was just my natural lip. Oh no. The camera's about to die. So we might, we might have to switch to the other camera. Oh, and by the way guys, I'm sorry if the lighting looks a bit different than when we first started it's just because the sun's about to go down but it's so early that's what I hate about daylight savings time they're getting rid of daylight savings time here good they better did you know that I think it's like in Alaska they're not seeing the sun for like a while isn't that that's crazy right I didn't think that was possible in some places I feel like I'd just be really sad if I live there we have so much because I love sunlight I like how in the summertime it'll be bright until freaking 8 p.m. sometimes even if you woke up late you felt like you get a lot done just because the sun was up you have very red Lips. Are we eating hot Cheetos or something? Oh. <laughs> what the heck? What shade are you using? Oh, you know. Hot Cheetos. Cheetos. And lastly, the last step that I do is apply my highlighter, and I just use the Becca highlighter in the shade Moonstone. That's such a cool name. I know, right? I just apply this to the tip of my nose, my cheekbones, and I kind of take the brush and pinch it like this, and then I try to apply it right underneath my eyebrow. What effect does highlight give someone? Gives you a glow. Watch. Can you see? <laughs> Look, we're matching. Alright guys, so I just finished my makeup off camera. We switched to this camera because the other camera died. So this is the finished product. This is how I do my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. I enjoyed it. Thank you. I will be doing more Get Ready With Me's in the future. So if you're not already, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for those videos. And be sure to chat with us on all of our socials. We will leave them up here on the screen and down below in the description box. Thanks for watching. And if you're still here, comment Booty Blender. Okay, if you're still here, comment Booty Blender. Okay, we love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching.